In opal mining, the more dirt you move, the more chance you have to find opal. Big machines are one way. Another is this. In Cuba PD, the king of bomb making is 75-year-old George Aslamatis. His specialty? Blowing up old underground mines to uncover new seams of opal. It's a relatively cheap and easy way to move a lot of rock. But it's rammed full of risks. Hey, many, many friends, they're going to die. You play with a fire, you get burned. At the Cook Brothers workshop, sparks are flying. Now the fun begins. The brothers are racing to build their dirt chewing machines to widen their mine shafts. Mick's design has an extendable arm. This one comes out, then this one comes out. That he'll attach to their massive drill, Megatron. Tungsten carbide steel claws will rip through rock as it rotates. I just like the idea of mine, it's less complicated. There's no extra machines. There's only a battery and a power pack which will be on the machine. Now we've got the shaft drilled straight down. Now we'll put this belling out machine down to the level or just above it. Mick will put the arm out, keep going around, put the arm out until it's at full extension. And that'll give us a three metre diameter circle. We'll take a little bit of the roof and then make sure we get the start of the opal level. That's usually where your opal is. But then we'll keep going down. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of dirt. Plutus arrives at the 18 metre mark, where good opal trace was found. Next, the 1.5 metre arm with 20 steel teeth is extended using a remote control unit. It's a garage door opener hooked to a hydraulic power pack through relays. Yeah, just a little bit of lightning ridge ingenuity or inventiveness. You know, doing it on the cheap. We'll give it a shot, see what happens. Mick needs Pete to extend the arm gradually. Just to get line of sight. He doesn't want the electrics receiving the remote signal to overheat. Only hit it the once and take your finger off it. Yeah, I'm not holding me finger Okay. On it. I just give it a, a pulse every couple of laps. It feels like there's resistance, so I think it's going out. Let's hope it's working. The brother's blood, sweat and tears is paying off. The arm is churning through the dirt faster than any human could possibly achieve. Something's overloaded and we've had a short circuit. We haven't found the opal that we're expecting and uh, it's starting to, starting to wear on us, I think. Determined to carry on, Justin keeps drilling. But the more he drills, the more he weakens the wall holding up the roof. Did you hear that? Sounds like breaking glass. Justin's still drilling holes into walls holding up the mine ceiling. All right, let me quick little look. There's a nice little piece there. Another piece here. And his luck is changing. Look at that. Only thin, but really, really, really classy colour. It's got greens and reds, it's good. Ooh, hang on. All right, this is my favourite thing to do. You know, when you don't know there's opal here, you know, you've just, you hear this little crunching sound when you, when you break a chunk of sandstone off, you know there's opal. Uh, Muller, come here. Muller. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Straight through. Boom. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Nice. Is this good or what? Oh, and there's more. Ooh. Bloody beautiful. Ooh. But to get it all, Dan attacks the wall from the other side. Oh, 
Oh. Weakening the wall. Look at that. Even more. What <laughs> that makes you get goosebumps instead of pieces. The big rock, you can't see it in the darkness there, but we want to get behind it. It's that end of the patch that's the loaded end. Somewhere in there, it'll turn on and we'll get a nice rock with good colour that's bolder then. That's really worth something. Cole's crew pick up the pace. That's it. All right. Oh, we're getting some colour. Next target is a 50 kilo stone that could be hiding a jackpot. But to get it, the crew need to dig away the supporting rock. Here we go! With two buckets of Matrix Opal, it's a good day's work. Little patches of nice ones, and if only you knew where the best ones were. But we just keep plugging away. That'll do us. We're going to have to make some more room and get this dirt out. Nine sticks of explosives are about to go off. Why is the other? Finally, the winch responds. It's a race to get out and get clear. This is the last of their explosives. Their fortunes now hang on what lies in the dirt. Ah, uh, look, Yanni! Yanni! Uh. Come here, have a look. Jesus Christ, man. Look at this, man. Oh. Where are you? Oh, are, you are you kidding me? Finally, after two years of no opal, Yanni and George have struck it lucky. I told you we make it, you don't believe me. <laughs> 